Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 20. This is our journeyman save, and this is episode 12. Pretty sure, 12? I think it's 12. Anyway, I uh, hadn't recorded in a while, probably a week. Um, we are coming back for Schalke as we talked last episode. I had gotten ahead, I was out of town, uh, so I just got home, today's Wednesday. Uh, so I haven't recorded since Friday, I guess, last Friday. And, uh, you know, I recorded to get ahead to keep you guys with episodes on the channel. And uh, so, yeah, just got home from a couple of nights out in the hotel working and traveling all over the, the state and, you know, putting a million miles on my car. Uh-oh, a Shulka highlight. Oh no, he got to that ball. Damn it. Ooh, good clearance. Boy, they were moving that ball around like some professional footballers. It's time to get creative. No, you played it to the wrong guy there, man. All right, that's some good movement. Anyway, uh, so yeah, hadn't played in a w little while, so excited to get back into the swing. Of oh, look at the drop in! Oh, what ball movement! Oh my god, that looked like they really knew what they were doing. Holy hell, Tom Hill, fifth goal of the season. Let me make sure I'm. Oh, I need to move my picture over here. There we go. I was recording something else. Last time I recorded, oh, that was just brilliant ball movement. Le Pitre Rouillé over to Hill. Nice. And we'll take the 1 0 advantage. Oh, oh, damn it. <laughs> I thought we were going to have another goal. Oh, Schroeder. Schroeder. I think he's my favorite player in this save so far, at least with Union Berlin. Uh oh. And he got hurt. A bruised thigh. Um, he's not really dinged, but do we pull him off anyway? I think we do. And I'm contemplating. No, he's a better passer. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull him off just, just in case. I don't even know if he's on the pitch right now. Could be he's on the sideline. Getting treatment. All right, don't fart with the ball, please. Just get rid of the ball. Oh, nice move by Schroeder. Play it outside. Oh, no. Uh, oh, oh, Hill's on sides. No. Oh, man. I thought he had it. Thought he had it. All right, there's our substitution. Oh, I thought we were going to have a lucky break right there. Oh. Bukalski. Into the box. Pinky with the flying grab. That was impressive look. And that's sure to make the highlight reels. That was horrible. Great save. And he kept it in bounds. That was class. So I am extremely excited. So I'm recording this on Wednesday. This is going to go up, I believe, Thursday or Friday. Not sure yet. Um, it's going to depend on how if I can get it rendered today. I think it's scheduled to go up tomorrow, so we're going to do our best. But um, so the Premier League started back up today, I think. And then uh, the championship starts up Saturday and Leeds is playing on Sunday. So I am very, very excited to have football. Oh, no, to have football again. Is that Mertz? Flipped over. Good save by McDade. Oh, that's right. We've got two... Uh, yeah, I, I forget sometimes what's going on. 
we've got two lone keepers and we just signed a new keeper for next season. All right, we're looking pretty good. Pretty good. Bogler's playing well, 100% of tackles won. Zach, we're going to ask him to play it calm. Anybody not playing very well? No, everybody's... Bukowski's playing the worst. And that's okay. All right. Five chances to three. All right, let's tell him to get creative again. Zek is pressured. Oh, Hill. No, fight for it. Fight for it. All right, Hill lays it off to where he can get back into the attack. It's not a good, not a good dribbler of the ball. Play it out wide, man. He's wide open. There you go. Schroeder. That's, got, that's the guy we wanted. Oh, taken down. It's in the box. It was on the edge of the box. He's going to look at the little TV set, as it is wont to be called by football manager aficionados. I think that was in the box, buddy. Schroeder went right inside the line on the box, and it's going to be a penalty. A free kick. Oh, we got jobbed. VAR sucks. Sucks. Oh, that sucks. Yes. No bueno, man. No bueno. Oh. Okay, you need to not do that. You need to be creative and be a playmaker and don't ever shoot again. Ever. Like, ever, ever. All right, let's, uh, Bukowski, let's pull him off. Marcus uh, Vogler can move over. Zek can move outside. Actually, no, we're we're pretty screwed here, aren't we? Let's undo that, undo that. Yeah, we're pretty screwed. We don't have anybody that can play the back. Uh, boy, you really hate to pull Gilly off. They always say it's a bad move to pull off a sub who didn't come on until the you know, but he's not playing well. Uh, Urban, let's give him some rest. Let's put McNally on. And I think we're just going to make the one move right now because we had to make that earlier sub. But yes, I'm so excited about football being back this weekend. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, that was not good. Both of our defenders... Ugh. That was that was ugly. Ugly. Uh demand more, please. All right. McNally, Navarro, Le Pitre Rouillet. Let's put uh yeah, let's uh, yeah. No, let's put uh Let's put Bach out there. Crossing. Yeah. Why not? He needs some fitness anyhow. Show some passion. Bukowski into the box. Good good ball movement right there to get it around the pressure. Ooh, Jamal just drove right right past our guy. All right, McDade goes down and smothers it. That's good. Nothing. No highlights down the stretch. All right, well. Pretty even game at the end of the day. We were not favored, so 
Yeah. We're only one point off the top. We do have an extra game played today. But, uh, yeah, you guys played pretty well. Pretty well. Still wanting to try to maybe play that other six to seven days. That's not too bad. Hill ends his gold drought 11 hours. So that's not the greatest, but, you know, it could be worse. All right, did they play any more games today? No. All right, well, we will be back in eight days. We must have played a day earlier. Everybody else should play tomorrow. And we'll probably find ourselves back in third or fourth position at that point. Uh, but hopefully no further than that. Guys, we'll see you right back here in a second. Man, we have suffered some serious injury news uh, here in training since the match. Um, Umaru Kamara, our reserve keeper, pulled ligaments. He's only going to miss about another week, but it was two to three weeks initially. And Alexei Abzalov, one of our primary guys coming off the bench, uh, two to four more weeks broke a toe in training. So, yeah, there is that. <laughs> there is that so we'll have to see how that may affect us we're playing Magdeburg today we are uh, home favorites I wonder if this would be a time to maybe pull out that new tactic do we try this one I think we do why not why not let's go for it I'm feeling the time is right all right Kamara's going to be on the bench do I want to put Vogler Galliard? You know what? I'm going to start Bukowski over there. I think we're definitely good there. Schroeder. He's just got by far the best crossing. Who's got the best passing here? 9, 14. Yeah, definitely want to go there. Rubio, yeah, I think that's a good call. Although, oh, there's Urban. I was like, well, where the hell is he at? I thought he was one of our better players. Uh, okay, because I was like, that's a big drop off from Le Petre Rouye. I was thinking maybe we have to do that. And do we want to make a change up top? don't think so you know what let's uh let's give Bach a start I mean Hill's our starter you know but let's give let's give him a little rest this is a match that we should dominate and let's give Bach he needs some fitness so yeah let's let's do that you know the other thing we could do is Let's bring Zek in at center center back. I'm a little nervous about changing over to this tactic. It's too late now. Luckily, it's pretty much the same. I think the other tactic is just dropping Schroeder back to the midline. Pretty sure, for the most part. I mean, there's a few nuances. Get creative. Early shout. They've had a shot. Oh, now we've had a shot. And ours was on target, so that I'm feeling confident. All right, Navarro into the box. Oh, headed out. Schroeder chases it down. Nice ball inside to Zek. <coughs> Kodorowski. We're going the wrong way, fellas. All right, there's a nice ball. Oh, that was snazzy there. A little bit of flair. Oh, I don't know if that was a save or if it hit the woodwork. It was an offsides. All right. And he was booked. Really? It's a little odd, my striker getting booked. All right, Kodorowski. Back to Zek. 
All right, there's some. Oh, good ball movement. Vogler in deep. Oh, I think Hill might have scored that one. Take it. Oh, that's going to be just on the outside of the box, I think. I'm pretty positive that last match it was in. All right, Zek sends that one high. Got to wonder if our regular starter would have put that in. We're starting to dominate the highlights. Oh, my God. Off the woodwork. Come on, fellas. Oh, it's taken away. He fights for it. Oh, yellow card. Come on, boys. Let's demand more. I mean, we seem to be dominating the game from a stat. Oh, it dropped right down in front of the goal. Come on. How have we not put one into the net yet? And it's always these kind of highlights that make me nervous when we're kind of dominating the game. That's what I wanted to see happen. Oh, near post, and he just laid it in softly. That was a brilliant play by Rouye. Brilliant play. I mean, he, he, he grabbed the ball. Oh, got to watch that again. Brilliant defensive work. And just the move here. Beats his man and then looks like he was going to power at the far post. Took it inside that one step and just slid it right back to the left near post. And I think a penalty? Yes. Who's taking it? It's going to be Arturo. Our center back. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Fourth goal of the season. I think all of his goals have been on penalties here. All right, we don't need to watch that again. 14 shots, 10 on target, 16 and 11 now. That's a pretty dominant first half. Uh, you guys... All right, I'm going to go and let's, I'm going to drop this back to positive. And let's, let me check this tactic because I haven't used it a lot. All right, we are working into box. I'm going to drop the tempo just a touch. Just a touch. All right, there's a player sent off his second yellow. No, he was not. It was a yellow card. My bad. All right, Navarro. Oh, right into that dude's face. Uh, Scott Sterling, if I ever saw one. Scott Sterling? <laughs> if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, please do yourself a favor. Pause this. Go look it up on YouTube. Just go, just YouTube search Scott Sterling. And then you can come back and thank me in the comments. <laughs> and Rouye, his fifth of the season. Nico Schroeder with the assist. So I'm assuming you guys are back from watching Scott Sterling, right? I mean, go ahead and put thank you in the comments. You're welcome. That never gets old. Never gets old. All right, uh, let's uh, let's concentrate. Yeah, they're overwhelmed by that. That's okay. All right, Bach. Do I want to put another striker in? De Pietro, maybe. Let's give him some time. We can do that. And Bukowski will bring Gayard in. Actually, let's move Vogler outside. No, we're not going to do that. Evidently, Galliard. I'm going to have to look after this match because I, I, I seem to be missing somebody. <laughs> I don't seem to have quite enough depth. I'd like like one more player on the back line. 
<laughs> All right, let's praise him here. That was okay. I'm not going to praise that. Thankfully, he missed. That was horrible. Horrible. Let's go ahead and do uh, a, la a last sub here. Uh, who has not? You know what? Oh, Roos. I could bring Roos in. That's true. Let's bring Roos in for... That'll be a time waster. And we will take that. That's a dominant win. 3-0. Six chances to one. I am very happy with that. I have not even looked at the... Uh... There we are. So we're on even footing. 32 points. Plus five in the goal category over Augsburg. And we've opened up a three-point gap over Ingolstadt. So that's going to be important. Three wins in five. We've only dropped four points there. Pretty happy with that. And we're right on Mainz's heels. So we're playing well. We're playing well. I would like to get back into the Bundesliga. That would be nice. Two goals, seven dribbles. We're going to say that you were superb. Because he was. All right, where do we come back? All right, that's a good month for us here in November. Seven points from three matches. Definitely a change from October. Got to be happy with that. Um, we've already played Hamburger, yeah? Or am I just imagining that? Or was that last season? Must have been last season. Let's come back for... Um, Oh, those are friendlies. I was like, I don't remember 1860 Munich being in our league. Uh, that is the winter break, it appears. I tell you what, I'm going to play a run of games. Let's come back for Stuttgart and Braunschweiger at, towards the middle, bottom, middle and bottom of the table. Nuremberg and Schimnitzer are fifth and ninth, so they're top half. That would also be after the transfer window. I think. Hopefully I'm right on that. So, yeah, let me get through the transfer window because a lot of those matches are friendlies. Those aren't going to really matter. So we've got three league matches. Then we go into the end of, end of January and transfer window. So let me get through the transfer window, wrap that up, and then we'll come back for Nuremberg and Schimnitzer. We'll see you there for next episode. Guys, let me know what you think on how we're doing. Are we overperforming? I think we are. But uh, hopefully we can keep it up, too. Thanks for checking it out. Hit that like button. Subscribe. You know what to do. Thank you very much, as always, for just checking out the video. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.